I have a question for God. Why? Why? <laughs> Why did my own poor decision making lead me to this outcome? This sucks so fucking much. The day was December 5th. The hour was too early, and the minute was exciting as Justin and I met up on Duffy Lake Road and began making our way up the Steep Creek FSR. Ooh. There's a cross stitch. Glad those aren't that big. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we did not check that one. Here we go. Where no man has gone before. Well, it is an absolutely gorgeous day here on Steep Creek, right above Duffy Lake. Justin is getting used to his touring setup. And judging by the quality of the snow, the low avalanche rating, and a bluebird beautiful day, we're gonna have some good runs here, I think. There's the bushy forest road we came up. That sucked. And hopefully, we do not have to go down said bushy forest road. So here we are above Duffy Lake. We have elected to give this run a go. As far as I can see, we'll get at least a 500 meter elevation run. After that 500 meters, we will be about 100, maybe 150 meters away from the forest service, forest service road that we're gonna cross to cut back to the car. And that, I don't know, could be totally bushed out. Could be a good half hour of slog in it. But it's either this, we're going back down through those bushes on the FSR we came up. So it's kind of like, pick your poison. In terms of abbey conditions, we are looking pretty fine. It's pretty heavy slough. You can see a little bit as I cut through, sloughed off, but no slab forming at all. Oh. Yeah, it's heavy. I hit so many rocks. Well? This might not be a good idea. What? I just hit like seven rocks. Oh no. If you want to turn back, say so now. Well, we're not turning back. All right, here we go. This is uh <laughs> this is a little bit more sketchy than I think either of us anticipated. It just it pains me, you know. Those ones were bad. Well we can see why it's called Steep Creek. I got some turds. Oh, 
hard work. Yeah. Looking back up it, I'm not sure why I thought this was a good idea. I guess I was really only looking at the very top. There was a bunch of tiny bushes and I wasn't thinking about the rocks. I went, oh, we'll get some sick turns in. Honestly, this would be pretty similar to a lot of hiking trips I've had if it weren't for the skis and poles. <laughs> oh, lordy lord. We got some tree trunks blocking the path. Ugh. Oh, that was a rough one. Avoid this obstacle with expert dexterity. Ugh. Oh shit. Spreading my center of gravity out like a polar bear. It's currently the strategy. an absolute genius this man of unprecedented scope and magnitude it's dwarves are natural sprinters <laughs> very deadly in the short distances <laughs> I will say looking down from the top to the lake was highly deceiving because I was looking at it and I was like oh where I can't see anymore the road must be just there. It just looks like it would be so much closer. So. Yeah, I agree. That's okay. A bit of a boo-boo there. I told. There's, there's two of us here. Some people go to Vegas for a vacation. You made me, you open that can of water. Yeah. Uh. Whoa, there we go. There, can you see? Yeah, you can. I'm so good at my job. Oh. Okay, yeah, you know, life has told us to go down, even though we want to go up. So, uh, we're gonna go down. That's a metaphor for capitalism. Do you see the road? Oh, uh, if I say yes. That would be a lie. Oh, yeah. Hey, I see the lake! Oh, yeah. I just cracked some ice. I almost fell face first into some pokies. Whoops, it oh! Here's the thing, though. When you think about it, it's things like this that you look back on when you get old. When you're old and decrepit. You cannot walk anymore. Your bones shake every time you breathe. You're sitting in your nursing home. All your children and grandchildren are just whoop, waiting for your end. You can look back at experiences like this and go, wow, that was dumb. I woke up at 4.15 and then drove three hours to come and do this. I can really tell you something about society. People are fucking stupid. Of course, by people, mostly me and myself at this very moment.